everybody. It's Max and Kim. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, we like to travel. <laughs> and make videos for everywhere that we go. We're at the Langkawi Sky Bridge in the Sky Cab. We tried to go up yesterday, but the rain kept coming and going. So we decided to give it a miss, play around at the waterfall and give it another go today. So today there's going to be no rain and it's going to be amazing. I can see blue sky. We are here. And it is sunny. No rain today. The drive was even a bit quicker today. I think it was only 25 minutes. Maybe even less. I drove. We're swapping over with the driving. Kim's been on the back of the scooter for a couple of months now. She's only driven a few times. So today, it's Kim's turn to drive everywhere. So we got here quicker. I'm a speed racer. She's actually the only one out of both of us that has her motorbike license. So technically she's the... More qualified one. Yeah, more qualified to drive. At Sky Cab in Langkawi, there's a massive oriental village which is just filled with shops, food, activities. It's just so much fun and I think you can probably spend majority of the day just hanging out here, doing the activities, grabbing some delicious food and going up to see the view. So from the gondola ride up to the top of the sky bridge you can actually see the seven wells waterfall that we were at yesterday the other thing to note as well you can actually get glass bottom gondolas which cost 105 ringgit per person it's a little bit more expensive because our combo ticket was 55 per person each to do this and the 3d art museum yeah. but if the glass bottom gondola is something that you want it's an option and you get to go in the express lane as well also with actually going onto the sky bridge you do have to go up the gondola first and then it costs an extra five ringgit when you're at the top to be able to go out onto the bridge. <laughs> Get my good side. This is my good side. My good side is the other side. Can you see the view? <laughs> it is so much cooler up here. We get to take another photo. Second photo opportunity of the day. Thank you. So that is the Oriental Village down the bottom. And then if you just come over to here, that's the Seven Wells waterfall that you can see. So it's actually really close to the top here. On your way up, you do stop at the middle kind of viewpoint first, get out of the car, and then you have to line up again to go right to the top. We get our own car. <laughs> Couple of quick facts guys, this is the longest freestanding cable bridge in Malaysia. It's the highest sky bridge in the world. We think. Pretty sure that's what the sign said, but I mean we didn't read it intently, so... A few moments later... We found all the tourists! Two for the sky bridge. So an extra five ringgit gets you a green one of those, and we're ready to go. And just to the left of there, brings you up to the first 360 viewpoint. <laughs> wow! From the first 360 viewpoint here, you can walk over to the next one, a tiny bit higher. We just found the coolest thing! You can buy a little lock and then add your lock to the amazing kind of row of locks of hearts. So we're gonna get one. I think you can engrave it yourself. There's some from about two years ago, that's the earliest that I saw, which is a good sign that they're gonna stay here for a long time. So hopefully in a couple of years, or maybe in 10 years if we ever come back, we can still see them here. Best 30 ring I ever spent. So in 10 years we can come back with the key and get it? Nice. We're probably not going to come and get it because I just want to come and see it again. Yeah. And all this stuff might be rubbed off so we might have to put our key in every single lock in 10 years time. And we probably will lose the key. No we won't. <laughs> it's a master key though, it's the same key for every lock so I mean technically if you have a key for your heart you have a key to everyone's heart. Don't steal my heart. Here. <laughs> Can you guys see our love heart? Just there. 
Can you tell? Do you know which one it is? I can't tell either, but it's there. 360 degree view. Lives up to his name. It is beautiful up here. So to pay the extra 10 ringgit to get on the sky glide that takes you to the sky bridge, you actually just go down this path here. It's that little green box down the bottom and it actually goes really, really slow. Probably you and 15, 20 other people. So we think it's a lot better to walk. You get to experience cool stuff like the spiral staircase. A lot of traffic on the road. Welcome to the sky bridge. lives up to the hype. This is so cool. Look over the edge here. onto the edge of the middle so when you jump or it's very windy like it is currently it shakes quite a bit so if you're afraid of heights maybe just stick to the 360 viewpoints which is up there so the sky bridge is actually 708 meters above sea level which is Tujuratas La Panmita that's high this is actually only the second highest mountain in Langkawi though the other one is like 800 I think over there which you can go up on your scooter apparently last stop of the day the 3D art museum <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. We're about to walk over the scariest wooden bridge you've ever seen. park here today you can easily spend an entire day here at the park it's 5 30 we're gonna go get some food from the street market and go to sleep all, all right, right guys that, that is the vlog if you haven't already make sure you smack that subscribe button in the face in the meantime we're gonna shred some gnarly waves other than that stay safe we'll catch you in the next one Bye. we're just about to go check out some dinosaurs at the sky it's like a theme park Falling right into Jurassic park. this is the second largest Jurassic park in the world you're still sucking Jurassic park in the world